It goes without saying that airports are noisy places. But there's one noise that nobody wants to hear. An emergency in an airport. The firefighters have to be able to respond in under three minutes, preferably two. That's international law. The fire trucks have to be fast, they have to be powerful, and carry enough water, foam and powder to put that fire out. Now Austrian company Rosenbauer has built a fire truck that eclipses all others. The Panther truck is a faster, all-terrain machine that firefighters can operate without having to leave the safety of the cabin. But the thing that separates it most from all the others is speed. The Panther is specifically designed to shave precious seconds off that mandatory three minute response time. It has a top speed of 140 k's or 90 miles an hour. And here is what drives this beast. Have a look at that. A 22 litre V12 diesel engine that pumps out a mighty 1,000 horsepower. Acceleration 0 to 80 in 25 seconds. Now, that may not be as fast as a Lamborghini, but for a fire truck, that is flying. Okay, the next thing this truck needs to tackle is rough terrain. Although most runways are flat, fire trucks need to be able to get wherever the aircraft ends up, and that could be in a ditch or a paddock nearby. Now these obstacles are here for a reason. This is to test the strength and the torsion of the chassis, and also to make sure the tires don't hit the bodywork. The Panther certainly performs. Coil springs instead of leaf springs, which is a great advantage. What a beast. It just goes over these obstacles like they weren't even there. This truck has an incredibly low center of gravity. That means it can operate on very steep inclines without even shifting. The Panther is at about 25 degrees. Now that gives it the ability to operate in very, very rough terrain. At the same time, you can still operate this fantastic water cannon. And here's what's unique about the Panther. Even at this angle, and with the firefighters inside the vehicle, it's fully operational. <laughs> Thanks to these exceptionally versatile water cannons at the front, the larger one on the roof can pump out more than 6,000 litres, or about 1,800 gallons a minute, reaching almost the length of a football field. The smaller one can switch between a narrow jet or a wide spray, and both can be operated by separate controls inside the cabin. <laughs> this is the coolest. And this central display unit here allows you to monitor what's going on in the vehicle. Tank levels, pump pressure, even engine temperature. Basically, it allows the firefighters to sit in the safety of the cabin, fight the fire with these controls without having to go outside. So let's fire up a simulation and put the Panther through its paces. Newcastle International Airport in the north of England is home to the world's first operational Panther 6x6, and this is why. As soon as it's in range, the water cannons let rip. Already the firefighters have saved valuable time that would otherwise been spent getting out and unrolling a hose. But hoses aren't forgotten. In this instance, two men have left the truck and are outside training a hose on the blades. Not only have the water cannons taken some of the sting out of the fire, they've also made it safer for these two men, who work under the control of Newcastle's manager of fire and rescue, Eric Westwood. The guys are not put into dangerous situations where they have to climb onto the roof, where the vehicle's moving at high speed. It's done from the safety of the cab, sat next to the driver. So again, the communications, the talking to each other as they're sat next to each other driving along, it's easy to operate. And in aircraft firefighting terms, that's critical. Every second vital for us. Later this year, Newcastle will be taking delivery of two Panther 8x8s. 
With its high-reach extendable turret, it's the airline industry's preferred vehicle for dealing with the increasing number of large planes expected in our skies. Ironically, all that technical wizardry and Rosenbauer's years of design and development have gone into creating a vehicle which in an ideal world, airports hope they would never have to use.